Hey, Mark, fake banter for the intro. That's all I know how to do. Great. Good to be here. Welcome to Tuesdays with... Stories. Hit her in the face with a surfboard. And then the duck fell out of his bag. <laughs> Surf's up. And she didn't even flush. Knock, knock. Who's there? Mark Norman and Joe List. Yeah! This is Tuesdays with Stories, everybody. No, nah, that's terrible. This is supposed to be cheesy. My radio is spitting at me. And I can choose why I want to Hey, say. folks. Yeah, you send more linen. You're talking into the phone, not the microphone. Oh, hello, hello. <laughs> All right, hey, folks. Here we are. New Orleans, the Big Easy, Crescent City. Well, the only thing easy is getting robbed. You got that right. <laughs> this city sucks. It's a dangerous town. It stinks. There's a lot of kooks out there. It's kook central. I mean, this is where you come. They 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 play an instrument. They tap dance. They hit a bucket. They they tell a joke. Chuck and I just got kooked right out in the street. And if my last moments are with Chuck, <laughs> heaven help me. I mean, oh. I, I can't have it. I, I'm just with. I'm jogging across the street in fear with a guy wearing. Dungaree jacket. I'll protect you. I'll protect you, <laughs> I'm man. Terrified. Yeah, you don't want to go down like that. We just got a uh, coup. I mean, right across the street, the guy, the, the, the old like, hey, the guy's jogging over. Can I ask you a question? Let yeah. me ask you a question. Uh, Where are you I going? Let question. me ask you a question. And uh, I just went, ah! We were like Jerry and Kramer running <laughs> from the Gahomos. Smart. <laughs> That's so smart. Just get out of there. If anybody ever goes, I bet I can tell you where you got your shoes. Uh, don't bite. I'm not the kind of guy that bites for that. I, I run. You uh, know that one? I, I need to know. Where, where? How does he know? He goes up to you. Goes. I bet I can tell you where you got your shoes. And in your head, you're going. Your ego kicks in. You go. Hey, you don't know where I got my fucking shoes. Fuck this guy. You don't know about Aldo or British Knights or whatever the fuck. And you go. I bet you don't. And he goes on your feet. And you go. Dah. And then he goes. Give me a hundred dollars. Oh, I thought you were gonna say he cuts your feet off and takes them. No, or something. I'd rather that. Uh, Cut my feet. And everyone talks about New Orleans, the food. You got to have the food. I'll tell you what. This food is uh, shit. Come on. <laughs> I mean, what? I got a, Mc, a McDelivery. Uh, did you at least get the Cajun chicken? No, I got a uh, Uber Eats double quarter pounder medium. Woo! Might be a couple of fry scraps left. Oh, you got some fry? I'll take them. You got them. Awesome. There's always smell a couple. That. Tell at the me that bottom. doesn't smell fantastic. Oh, it reminds nice. me of my ch- divorce. Hold on, let me get. I bet you got a fry in there. There's always a fry oh, out there. Jeez. Oh, Hold on, I think I touched your dick. Wait a minute. Hold on, he cut a hole in the bottom. Damn, not one fry. Oh, I feel like the I movie, the, uh, the diner. What is that? Is that diner with the popcorn? Oh yeah. What's that guy's name? He's good. Mickey Hope Rourke. Greenwich Village. Yeah. Yeah, he's this hot. This is too noisy. They're gonna be. The yeah. people in their cars are gonna shoot us. There's not one fry in there. What uh, kind I'm of what telling kind of you what? There's fries. Hold I on. Bet the, the guy, but the driver ate them. I used to deliver pizza. I ate about a thousand breadsticks. Here they are. Aha! Uh-huh. That's a ketchup packet. I tell you, I felt around. I know a fry when I feel it. Whoa! Go. Jackpot. Woo wee! Hey, hard as a rock. <laughs> Woo! Gotta have the local cuisine when you come to town. You got first that right. things first. You gotta have it. Mm-hmm. And then, uh, and then they got a great coffee here, as you know, Cafe de Starbucks. Oh uh, yeah! Well, you hit all the local spots. Huh? Yeah. Mm. Anyways, it's good to be here. You're getting married. George Costanza oh, yeah. is getting married. We had a pact. No <laughs> champagne. Big You know what? No champagne. How you feel? I mean, this is it. This is the last how you feel in. We're, we're less than 48 hours. I know. Well, it's such hell <laughs> with the planning and the, uh, the meeting and the hanging. You know, like, here's what I don't get. Mm-hmm. You know, the lady's I, like... Not a lot, I, I would expect. Well, yeah. <laughs> We're going to go hang out with these people. We're going to have brunch with them. And you go, okay, okay. And then you go, all right, I think we're done with brunch. And I go, I'm going to go back. They're like, oh, we're all going to this bar. And I'm like, well, I, I, I haven't showered today. Like, I, I woke up. And you, you wake up and you just hit the ground running. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And they go, what, you're not going to come with us? And I go, I don't want to. And then they get mad about that you don't want to. But I'm like, you don't want to go either. That's what it is. Keep in mind, by the way, it's Tuesday. Nobody's even here yet. Uh, you still got your parents and your grandparents and yeah. your, your grandparents' grandparents. I mean, there's going to be all kinds of people. Yeah. And, and I assume most of her family's not in yet. No, they're here. Oh, the whole gang? The whole gang, and they, they're at the hotel with us, so you can't, you can't shake them. You mm. bump into one at the courtyard, now you're hanging out all week. Boy, that's uh, that's rough. I feel for you. But this is when I did my wedding, and you were there. I just latched on to Derek. I was like, this is my best friend. He yeah. flew in. So I'm with him. Oh, yeah. And then the rest of the people can just fend for themselves. You got to latch. 
I know, no latch. Yeah, you can't. You, you need like a, a long lost bud who's in town, right. To use as your latch key. Well, the problem is my home base has been invaded with family. Like the, right. my home base, I, I, there's no escape. So when you have no escape, as you know, an introverted weirdo comedian, you're like. I feel infiltrated. I feel like I can't relax. Yeah, it's 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 tough, and uh, it doesn't end. And and then Friday, when are you when do you when are you done here? Uh, I go back on the fourteenth. What is that Sunday? I think that's Monday. Oh, jeez. <sighs> I know it never ends. Maybe I'll die. Yeah, probably. If you walk around for a couple minutes, That's you true. might die. <laughs> I, I, I'm shitting bricks out here. I forever resent your wife. We could be doing this on Cape Cod, yeah. Boston, Cambridge, oh, uh, sure. whatever, Chuck's house, oh, Manhattan. The, we could be in Manhattan, for the, God's the sake. The resentful text, like, uh, so I got to fly in. I got to get a place. What play? You know, the amount of questions and the uh, the remorse people have, the anger. Well, not so easy on our end either. I I, I bought uh, my wife a ticket. She's sick. She's puking up cum. Yeah. And then I'm getting this question now. What are you getting for Mark? What are you getting for the thing? I'm oh, like, are you getting gifts? I'm like, getting? I'm it's, like a, it's like a hack bit, but I'm like, I spent $75,000 getting in here. This room is 800 bucks a night, and there's seven homeless people peering into the window. Yes, peering. By, by the way, we have to get a shot of this. I'm on the first floor, literally level with the ground, yeah. with glass doors. Literally a pane of glass, no frame, no guard, nothing. Hobo Joe can just stroll in. It's terrifying. He can fall in like Paul Pelosi. Oh, God. But anyways, so yeah, there the gift. Go. I got a year to get you a gift. Oh, you and, got a year? Uh, that's, uh, that's what good. I heard, and uh, it's not coming, so just be ready. I understand. Well, you showed up here, and you came on my back. And so. a speech. I'm giving a speech for yes. the love of peace. I, I, I've been shitting my brains out. I'm terrified. Well, I heard you're doing a poem. Big poem. Poem. It's going to be... Uh, are, you really doing, are you doing a poem? Wait, who told you that? You did. Oh. Uh, <laughs> are you doing a poem? I, I found a nice poem. Something nice. Something befitting. Oh, you took a poem? You're going to do you, a you Dr. Write a poem or I added my own stuff to it. Right. I put jizz and semen in All there. All right, you got a queef in there. Just for you. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I got to tell you, I'm very stressed. I was in therapy bringing it up. I'm like, Alan, you got to hit me straight here. Uh, what do I do? I, I can't give a speech. And he's like, oh, okay, you're a pussy. Yeah, yeah, that's what he told me. Uh, yeah. But yeah, he. Thank you for telling about the wedding because he sent me a nice message. Oh wow! How about it's, that? it's funny because for a guy, you didn't tell him about the wedding. Nah, I don't want to bother the guy. <laughs> but he's like, uh, you know, I I brought this up to the lady on accident, which was a huge mistake. But he's uh, he's like wrote this long text like you're facing your fears. I know marriage is scary. I know you're anxiety ridden. Blah, blah, blah. And I told her, I'm like, yeah, what a nice therapist. You know, he told me how I'm scared and I, I'm pushing through and I have a lot of courage. She's like, what do you mean courage? I'm like, wow, this is terrifying to get uh, married. Geez. She's like, why would this be terrifying? It's a love fest. And I'm like, well, it's the rest of your life. It's till death, you know, divorce, <laughs> <laughs> you know, adulthood, responsibility. And she was like, well, why is that scary? And then here we go. Oh, jeez. Good times. Boy, it really feels like this is a mistake. Yeah. Well, the, the whole the whole system, uh, the, 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 the whole notion of, of marriage is just... Retarded. I'll put the system on trial. I know. Well, I mean, how about this? I mean, like my wife, she's she's system of a down. Sick as a dog. I hate that band. Sick as a dog. So I'm down here. Doesn't it feel like I should be able to fuck? This is a romantic 100%. getaway, nice hotel. Yeah, and uh, I'm at the, I'm at the singles table now. And you're in the hot hotel. This is a sexy. Big big ticket item you're in here. I know. I got a nice hotel. I got nice bathrobes. And, uh, yeah. you know, I make a fair amount of cash. I'm sure. tall. I'm funny. I'm charming. You're a catch. Yeah, the teeth are tough. And, yeah, uh, I don't want to go with the forehead the and the gangly. And yeah, the... But but you're at the show tonight. We're sold out. I mean, you could be crowd surfing and get fingered. I could smash some puss. And I feel like that's only fair. Hey, you shouldn't have got sick. Uh-huh. But, you know, marriage, wedding, the whole uh... thing. By the way, speaking of sex and marriage, I don't know if you heard about this yet. Sarah tweeted something, so it's been teased. Oh, boy. We're up in Hartford, Connecticut, Manchester, Connecticut, which is the only place worse than New Orleans, if you ask me. <laughs> well, Syracuse is up there. Yeah, that's a good point. All right, Syracuse, Manchester, New Orleans. All right. It was one of these ones, Funny Bone, you do four shows, and I'm at this weird spot where I can sell some tickets, but mm. not all the tickets. Sure. So we do early show Saturday. If you came to the early show Saturday at Hartford Funny Bone, I mean, you saw a, a pearl, a gem, a, hot a show? jewel, hot, 
good. Hot you need show. one to get you through that weekend. And I had this, by the way. Where you, the, you ever have this thing where consciously the whole time you're like, I got to listen to this. I'm hot tonight. Mm. I'm on. I'm riffing. I got crowd work up the oh, asshole. Wow. I got uh, some new stuff I tried. I riffed some lines. I'm like, this is the one that's going to really sync up this new art, uh, really tighten it. Wow. You get off stage and it says, Re- recording, two minutes, 41 seconds. Oh, I've had that. The phone. The phone oh. was full. Or my dad was full. A com- Something happened. Yeah. Two minutes and 40 seconds. So I literally have me being like Hartford Funny Bone. Boy, it's Manchester, really. Right. You know you're a bad town when you're not Hartford, but you say you're Hartford. That's the oh. recording. And the crowd is like, oh, Damn, oh my God. And it just cuts worst. out. And so I'm fucked. Now I feel like I can't get back to where I needed to be. That's the worst. So Somebody, that's. You probably got a phone call. A phone call is what usually does it. No, because I went airplane mode. Because oh. I've had it with the phone call. I think it's just my phone is full. I have 48,000 photos, literally. Uh huh. I take too many photos. I'm, a, I'm well, a big queer. It was the radio alarm. Separate knob. <laughs> Why separate knob? <laughs> Damn, that sucks. And then you go, hey, uh, you guys do video here? You know, sometimes a club has a video system, that. and they go, what are you kidding? It's Hartford. No, they went, we forgot to turn it on. Oh, <laughs> even worse. I swear to God. I bet it's a projector. It's a monkey back there with the curtain and the big crank. I was And I was riffing, and, and the, in the middle of like the ending, the lady was like, why'd you wear red shoes? And I go, red shoe? We're dismounting. What are you talking about? And then she says... Uh, what are you, a little uh, Dorothy? And then she, oh, I said, she, I said, uh, she, she said that. She said, you look like Wizard of Oz. Oh, jeez. And I said, well, those are ruby in their slippers. And that got a laugh. It was like one of those hot crowds. Yeah, yeah. And, I, and then she said something in a British accent. And I was like, did you just turn British? And <laughs> I was getting laughs. What are you, Madonna? And that was a whole thing. And I said, you don't even call them sneakers. You call them trainers. Yes, trainers. And then I did a thing. It was great. Trust me. Ah, I believe it. I believe ah, it. No Damn. Personal trainers. That's a bummer. Ah, and then, you, of course, you do a shitbox show, and that's all on tape. That's all on tape. But what started this journey, Friday, late show, I'm on stage, and uh, just a regular night. Good good crowd, which you don't hear every, every day for Friday late, but this mm. was good. And I say something, something, uh, you know, paid someone to have sex and i hear from the back how much uh and i go what and she goes how much would you pay to have sex and i go well i can't see you it's very bright but uh, i'll make an offer after the show please do whoa and i go okay whatever i do a couple more jokes and then something later on she goes well you should have said you came already and i went what is that and she goes uh, i came already whoa and who I is go, this bro i go hey i'm getting hot and heavy up here we're kind of having that flirtatious laughy thing sure and then i go oh boy i'm getting nervous i, I blocked the light i go it looks like you have a guy there who's not too pleased and then he says don't worry about me man oh meaning like we swing exactly and then she's like, "Don't you don't need to worry about him. He's cool." Something oh, like that. Oh boy, you're in the mix. So I go, "Well, this is interesting." After the show, I'm selling the t-shirts. Uh-huh. Sold out. Thanks to everyone that bought hey, one. Hey, all right. Was that a what's his face? Paul. Paul. Paul's boutique. No. Uh, Hit the bodies. Peter, Paul and Mary. Hide the bodies. Hide the bodies. There you go. Yes. And so I'm sitting there selling the shirts, fans taking photos, and I get the elbow from Sarah and goes, "Hey, Joe, these uh these two folks have invited us to come back to their hotel. How'd they look? Girl was pretty attractive. Oh, okay. She was a, a full-figured gal. Uh, not thick. fat. Not fat. Voluptuous. Voluptuous. All right, I'll take it. Oh, honky? And she had a, yes, and uh, then she had a guy who looked a little pie-eyed, but handsome. But he was like a little bit like this. Uh-huh. And they walked right up to Sarah and said, hey, listen, we want to take you home. It's his first time, and we want to uh, show you the thing. And Sarah goes, well, we're married. And she goes... Perfect. That's great. Why don't mm. you come? And I went, hey, listen, we're, we're sober folks. If I had a couple of drinks, she's like, have a couple of drinks. And they were really like kissing and rubbing. They were oh, horned boy. up. Oh, boy. And uh, she was like touching Sarah and really grabbing her wrist and the Whoa. whole thing. And uh, by the way, I've been married a while. I'm a little, you know what I mean? I, you know me. Still sure. the same OG, but I've been low key. I, I, I was ready to dabble. Yes, dabble. I'm like, who cares? We're together. Yes. Let's go over there. Let this fucking cross-eyed, pie-eyed, meth addict pound you a little bit. You're while, okay with that? Yeah. Get a little, you know, chubby Sue to fucking suck me off. Sure. After a funny bone? 
We'll be there for 15 minutes. We're sober. We can drive. Oh, my God. A truck oh, just drove into truck the hotel. Drove to the driveway. <laughs> Jesus sake. Yeah, they can see it here jerking off. Anyways, I'm into that, too. All right. So I, I, I'm i looking at Sarah being like, well, yeah, of course we can't unless we did. Yeah. And she was like, what do you know? I think she's mad at me. I think that's why she's sick to her stomach still. <laughs> Maybe that's it. Well, what happens in Manchester stays in Manchester. You know, that's that's the devil's taint out there. That. There's no rules. Yeah, I mean, I whatever you're gonna do, but I was I was flattered, and I, I'm like, I put it in the old spanker bank because sure. I'm like, I'm gonna think about this tonight. I'm like, yeah, they wanted to eat you out, whatever, and uh, it was hot. Now here's the clinker: is the the beauty of the the times we're living in is you can go look that. That plus size uh, gal on the rascal scooter, you can look her right up. You can find her on the Instas and the TikToks and the OnlyFans. But we didn't exchange names, so I don't know how to find her. I'd have to type mm. in like funny bone, late show, nice cans, sexy. Swing. The problem was that the husband was, uh, he was a little banged up. He looked like, he was like, yeah, man. Like, Drunk I was like, or, or just life had done him dirty. I think just, I, probably both, but I think okay. just booze, boozed up. So he was a little legless, but. You know, I I, I could I could have swung around and sure. uh, upside iron pineapple that thing. Oh yeah. Hey, hey folks, Tuesday's story is brought to you by First Person Brain Health. Like our physical health is a daily challenge and a lifelong commitment. You don't just work out once and expect to be swole. When it comes to your brain, daily lifestyle choices can help your overall brain and cognitive health. Taking that first step towards better cognition and improved brain health is easy with First Person. Made with functional mushrooms. Now we're talking. First person supplements stimulate the body's natural production of triggers that help improve energy, mood, and sleep. They sent us some of this stuff. I love it. I pop that shit every day. I like the uh, the golden hour. It gives you joy. Sunbeam gives you focus. Moonlight helps you sleep. I need all of those. I'm a mess. Use 100% grain-free organic mushrooms sourced. From best in class vendor. You don't have to go sifting through cow shit anymore. Start improving your brain health and cognition with first person. Get 15% off your first order by going to first person. Wait, get firstperson.com and use code Tuesdays. That's G E T F I R S T P E R S O N dot com slash Tuesdays for 15% off your first order. Get firstperson.com. Promo code Tuesdays. These statements have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. These products are not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. First person. First dress, folks, folks, dress shirts used to be for guys in boardrooms, but now even schmucks with podcasts want to look good. Ouch. Not me. That's why you've got to check out Mizzen and Maine, the inventors of the performance fabric dress shirt. Lightweight, breathable, moisture Wicking. Wick. Mizzen and Maine's clothing will have you looking great. These are comfortable dress shirts that you need to try to believe. The best part is that they are machine washable, so no expensive trips to the dryer, dry cleaner, excuse me. Plus, for the cold weather, which is upon us, they've got amazing flannels, pants, sweaters, and jackets made from that same Mizzen and Maine material they're famous for. Mm. They sent us some of this stuff. This stuff is awesome. They sent me some pants. I put them on. Perfect fit. Love it. They're in the laundry right now because I wore them around for three days straight. So comfy, so sharp. My wife was all over my tits. They look great. Can't wait to get them all back from fresh and folded. These pants rule. And if somehow you still aren't a believer, they're, yeah, they got over 30,000 five-star reviews. That's insane. Wow. So you know they make a great product. Hard to get a five-star review. Here, here. So if you want the best cold weather clothing this holiday season, check out Mizzen and Maine. Shop their Black Friday sale for 25% off site-wide with Code THANKFUL25. That's 25% off their entire site when you go to M-I-Z-Z-E-N-A-N-D-F-A-I-N.com. Mizzen and Main. And use our promo code THANKFUL25. Out of cold promo. <laughs> it's getting late in the day, folks. We got to get back to the show. Chipotle. Back to the show. All right.
right, well, hey, I mean, this is what happens with marriage. You get the same clam for 10,000 years, and then you go to a, a comedy club in Connecticut, and you go, why don't we fuck the, the comedians? Well, I got a theory about Connecticut. I always got laid in Connecticut. Interesting. And the story, I had the old story. I do a bit about it now. I did a bit about it in the past. Well, this woman was fucking me, calling me a nerd. She was like, yeah, you fucking nerd. Mm, I remember that. And the woman that said, that in my, now in my act, that says, if you don't come, I'm going to be pissed. That was all the same woman in Connecticut. I got laid all the time in Connecticut. I don't know what it is about Central Connecticut. Well, Connecticut is a weird place because it's not New York, but it's not Boston, but it's still Northeast. But it, There's not much going on there. There's Bridgeport, which is like the wire, and then there's Dawson's Creek over here at... Uh, I don't know, uh, Fairfield? Well, yeah, it's it's really America, because you have Yale, you have Ivy. Yes. I think people sort of, it, I kept saying this on stage, it's, it's very much like America itself, because people have this idea of pearl necklaces and yes. the sweater around the thing the and the schooner, ocean and the big Yale and the, sweatshirt the loafers. and like the, the bushes yes. and whatever. Yes. But then you have Bridgeport, Hartford, New Haven, these real kind of shitholey places. Dicey. Mm. Yeah, yeah. You go one block this way, you go one block that way, and it's hell on earth. But Yale is beautiful. Oh, great campus. It's not unlike New Orleans. Uh-huh. Oh, I can't sleep here. No, this is a tough spot. You might want to get on the second floor at least. I got to ask, because they were like, we wanted to accommodate the queen size, but then my wife didn't come. Ah, uh, She never yes. does. Uh, <laughs> so. It would be so easy for me to walk over here and knock at night. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Right? Ex- that would be funny. That would be funny, knock. except when you try to walk home and you get stabbed. And you're like, oh, maybe this bit wasn't a great idea. <laughs> yeah. Your Chuck's Hotel, by the way, I'm telling you what, it... it you can't believe it. You got to go see it. You got to walk through it. Really? We're having fun over there. The pool is a, is a place to be. I heard the pool's packed. It's across the street. Yeah. The pool at Chuck's Hotel <laughs> literally looks like, um, what's it called? Starts with a B. Paul Tom. Bermuda. Boogie Nights. It looks uh, like Boogie Nights. Oh, really? There was two heavyweights like clung to mm-hmm. each other floating. There's a hot tub literally the size of a bathtub with one guy. And he had a big floaty toy. It's literally a tub. Yes. And yeah. he's sitting in it like just like this, taking oh, up 100% boy. of it. And then there's like, it, it looked like Dallas Buyers Club. It, there was a guy, I mean, a Eights. woman who ah, was a guy at some it. point, like a, like a square jawed. Dude-looking dude person, hairy leg, the whole thing, Got with like it. a big lacy bra with uh, big cans. A real Elliot Page. Which I, I'm not shitting on. I'm I'm pro. Dude, do what you got to do. Yeah, dude look like a, a lady. It's a sight. Sure. It is a sight, and you do a double take. And then when they're shirtless or tanning or poolside, it's a whole other bag of hammers. Yeah, it's a... We're, it's we're a, having a good time. I'm fitting right in. It's a squattery <laughs> party drug... Play. I mean, it, it's yeah. like everyone's got the thousand yard stare over there. Right. See, Chuck can gel. He can slide right yeah, into a DM. Ma- uh, me and Mark, me, me and Mark have spent some time together. Yeah. You, I, you, uh, you got your McDonald's, you got your Starbucks, <laughs> and you got your uh, floor level room with a hobo access. Hey, I gel. I was willing to fuck a crazy drugged out couple three days ago, uh, my friend. Uh, I'm here. I'm here, aren't I? I I'm know you're here. here. Thing. <laughs> now, and Chuck is. This is the difference between us. This yes. is the difference. I'm not full of shit. Chuck is shitting his pants he, over. He's having a blast. I'm, not, I'm having a good time. Uh, he's scared to death. It's it's crackhead central over there. And hey, I'm walking through. I'm a, I'm walking here. I'm walking. Yeah, but I I slap five with everybody. I gave uh, him yeah, a, he a, didn't a knuckle slap five bound with, with the with the big cans. He yeah. didn't slap five. He's trying to produce a podcast with them. He's trying to do tell them Shelly right. Sean or whatever right. the fuck. Well, the thing is, Chuck he looks like a bassist in some Zydeco <laughs> band too. Yeah. You could you could blend right in with your jean jacket. Jacket on. He's got a, a, a jean jacket and camera equipment. They're like, oh, oh finally, we made yeah, it. Yeah, we can shoot a music video. Yeah, they're not going to kill him. <laughs> right. I've been all over this land. 44 <laughs> states and 29 countries, wherever I you know. need to go. I've eaten whale and reindeer and pussy you on know, the same day. Oh, wow. That's a big day, and the whale and the pussy and the reindeer smell the same. But... Ari's gonna come in here. Ari's gonna. Ari's gonna. Uh, he's gonna put a crown on, and he's mm-hmm. gonna eat a king cake, and then wear a g string. He's gonna walk right down Bourbon. Ooh, we getting a king cake? Oh yeah, yeah. Here's, here's what I. I can't wait 
Ferrari, especially Chuck. I want. I can't wait for someone to knock that fucking stupid grin off his face. <laughs> it's gonna happen when he's walking back. He's gonna walk. By the way, the sun's going down, buddy boy. And you're walking home with a fucking Wheeler bag <laughs> luggage. I've walked this route 900 times this week. It'll be fine. Every yeah. story you tell level. is about being mugged in your living room and That's shit. That's true, but I was young. Uh, yeah, all right, that would be fun for the wedding story. Chuck got mugged. We didn't, he didn't make it to the wedding. Went and, to the hospital. And you're the only sober one, so you're gonna be. Straight as an arrow, whereas Chuck is gay as the day is long. Uh-huh. I'm going to be in the trunk of an Uber on the way to the show and back. That's true. I smuggled some Xanax and uh, oh, edibles really? in my luggage. So. Well, you got yeah, some Xanax? Oh, yeah. We're going to have yeah. some fun. Oh, this is going to be a good okay. week. Take it Thursday. Any uh, totem poles? <laughs> Me. All right. Uh, I hope I show up to the show and Chuck has just fucking two tissues up his nose and two black eyes. <laughs> it could happen. It could happen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, we got kooked a second ago. Broad day. What would he do? It just came jogging up. Hey, I got a question. I got a question. I, I, wanted, to, nice... I wanted to find out what the question was. I was no, like, what's your question? Get over here. Sit right here. Put my lap out. Don't even bother. Don't humor. Yeah. You think the comments on YouTube are bad. Wait do you hear the oh. comments out here. <laughs> yeah. He's seen the show. <laughs> All right. Anyways, I've said too much. I'm All talking right. too much. So any advice? You've been married. You've had a wedding. I went to the wedding. It was fun. Any advice? Do you, they always say, "Hey, you're gonna fly by. You're not gonna. You're gonna see everyone and no one. Yeah, you I get drunk. You get. You don't get to eat. It's gonna be a whirlwind. I find a lot of this. It's like anything else. People are like you go to Paris. Everybody's rude. It's crazy. And then you go there and everyone's just fine. I agree. I'm just like, what are you talking about? Uh, it's funny. I'm like, I'm talking too much. You take over, then you just ask the question. So Sorry. now I'm talking well, I'm again. I'm curious because you you have experience with this. <laughs> I mean, it's I on my first wedding. It's um, I don't know. I talk to people, but we dance. I mean, you were at my wedding. Yeah, we didn't socialize. Dancing. We're we're dancing people. Yeah, a lot so of dancing. We were on the dance floor 100 percent of the time, which is a nice way to avoid all the small talk true, and getting true. stuck. We never, literally, never left the dance floor at any point during our wedding. Which yeah. I might, uh, I might suggest. Yes, but um, there's that. It's tricky because you want to just hang out with your friends, and I don't know your wife that well. I don't know if she wants you to be hand in hand, arm in arm. Like my wedding was like a four day event. I was never with Sarah. She was off with her family, and I was off with Derek and the comics. Oh, that's and nice. we just kind of met back up. That's the dream. She's pretty uh, low key, so I don't know if May is going to be like. Get over here. Why aren't I seeing you? Come here. But to me, I got my whole life. Yeah. This is everyone I ever loved in one spot. Well, that's the strange thing about ladies, and I'm generalizing here, you you queefs, you labias, but what's interesting is she'll be like, where are you? And I'll send her a photo of me with my niece on my lap, and she's like, oh, okay. But if I was at a bar with you, she'd be like, what the fuck? Right. So I'm not. you're not allowed to have fun. As long as you're doing something you don't enjoy, they're all right. Well, that could be a bit. Ah, uh, maybe, but that's uh, that's that's life. Yeah, my my advice. I, I mean, if you're drinking, go slow. Because some of these people, I was sober when it came time for my wedding, but some of these people, like I've heard people do coke at their wedding and they drink yes, fifteen drinks, I've and I'm like, this. you don't want to be hung over the day after your wedding. You don't want to be in a blackout. Right, right. So I would pace yourself with the drinks. Try to be in the moment as much as you can. The, the thing about a wedding is it, it's everybody you love in one place. It's so special. I couldn't stop crying. I was like on the really? dance floor crying. I was just so emotional wow, because I you're like, notice. I love all these people. Well, I looked over. Griffin was dancing and like Ira Proctor's dancing. and uh, It's a good mishmash of all the people throughout many years of your life in different stages in your life. Yes. All in one place. And now we're all doing the Watutsi. I told you, my dad was like talking to my mother. He was like, how many of these people have stayed at our house? And he was like doing a count. He's like, that guy, remember him? He stayed. And we got up to like 35 people had slept at my parents' house. Oh, so that's fun. It's a special day. And um, I don't know. Nice. I would say go slow and enjoy it. It's All fun. Right. Here, here. Yeah, I'm trying not, I'm going to try not to get too drunk because your first instinct or mine is like, just numb it all with with tequila. That's still my first instinct. Yeah, so I got to push through. I've done. I've already done that today. Yeah, it's tough. Well, tonight I can't wait. And that's the thing too is don't get too far ahead. Right now it's just we got a show tonight. Yes, it's gonna be fun. You, me, Patton, Chuck, Doug, Key, Umar. Right. Oh, I can't wait. Yeah, Andrew Youngblood. Oh, Youngblood. Youngblood, May, you, the Butler, Chuck. You coming? Oh yeah. My He's buddy filming. Ron. Oh, you're filming. Yeah, we're going to make a little some some kind of behind the scenes uh video for Patreon do, next do week. Do they know you're filming? Uh, 
All right. Well, you we'll, know we'll, filming. We'll send him a little text. <laughs> yeah, it'd be all right. And I heard that the green room's huge. Big and it's green fun. room. Yeah. Yeah, it's a legendary place. You guys are going to love it. It's this old wooden, it's like a CBGB. Nice. All right. Old rock. Club. I went to a show there on Monday. My friend goes, We're going to a concert at Tipitina's. I said, Let's go. And it was called Shovel and Dirt. I don't That's know. That's a band? Yeah, maybe give that a gook. Shovel and something. Shovel and stone? I don't know. But I was like, ah, here we go. And I had a blast. I forget this. Going to a concert is a good time. Oh, being live music is the best. It's the best. You feel it. I was I was the douche filming it. I was like, this is great. The band was so good. I'd never heard of them. That's so fun. I was at the cellar last night, and Noam and his band was playing. They're unbelievable. Oh, yeah. It's so cool. Well, that I don't love. But no, it's awesome. Shovel, I get it. Shovels and dirt? Shovel... There is shovels and dirt. Uh, maybe that shovels was dirt. it. That sounds like an ice cream place. Mm. It's not a great name. Mm. Shovels and dirt. It sounds like a shallow grave maybe, and mud or maybe something. Maybe I'm wrong. Let's see. Backhoe and dead uh, soil. I'm scared to go there. I got to take an Uber. Uh. Oh, you definitely want an Uber. It's a 10-minute drive. Okay. Oh, jeez. Could take the streetcar if you're feeling frisky. Shovel and rope? Shovel and rope! There you oh, go. That's how I'm going to kill Sho- my wife. Shovels and rope. That's there how you shovels go. Shovels and rope. Oh, I see. So it's like a murder thing. Probably. Yeah. Shovels Folk and duo. Rope. Man folk and duo. woman. It was like a Janis Joplin-y kind of thing. It was, That's a, cool. it was a good time. When I think folk duo, I think Janis Joplin. <laughs> <laughs> they were they were hardcore. Like they started out all, you know, cute and ballady, and then uh-huh. it just got to like bah! You know, the lady went nuts. Oh, that sounds fun. It was a good time. So where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from? from Cotton Cotton Eye Joe. Joe. (laughs) What's going on? Hit me. I haven't seen you. I don't know. You've been here since the 80s. We have a a no-play list at the wedding because the band is like very eclectic. They can play Bruno Mars to uh, Leonard Cohen and Marilyn Manson to System of a Down Syndrome. (laughs) But we said, nope, nope, no, we don't want any Katy Perry, no Taylor Swift, none of that horse shit. So uh, that Cotton Eye Joe was number one on my list of not to play. Well, you got to be careful because my wedding, Sarah and I got mad because, like I said, we were all over the dance floor. And we said specifically, we had a DJ, and I was like, I don't want any like wedding DJ thing. He's like, yes. we're not those kind of people. And then all of a sudden, everyone was singing Living on a Prayer. Right. And I we don't were like, that. what the fuck is this? It's hack. And then uh, Mike McRae said the funniest thing. Because at one point, my family played American Pie, which is one of my favorite songs. It's a big song. Our family loves singing it. But I'm like, this is a nine-minute ballad. Right, right. It's literally like, long, long time ago. Exactly. And I'm like, you've ruined the party. I know. And then Mike <laughs> McRae goes... Go up and tell them anyone with a Boston accent and a mustache can request songs. Because <laughs> you got people going up there going, oh, you know what? So-? And, and some Sweet people Caroline. are like, yes. yes yeah. There's like a group of three that right. has a thing. They're like, every time we get together. Uh, but you're like, well, yeah. there's 250 other people here, you <laughs> son of an onion. <laughs> yeah, there's some bad tunes out there. So are we, are we going to be dancing? Is it going to be? Oh, yeah. There's a back courtyard. We got a hot, hot band. Boy, they are piping hot. And they're going to be cruising. It's like one of those 28-piece bands with like the guy with the the maraca mm. guy, the uh, the harmonica guy, the fat black lady in the middle singing, belting it out. What? Exactly. And uh, yeah, so we'll eat, we'll drink, we'll be merry. What's the food? Chicken nuggets, fries, hot dogs, uh, pizza, We can, we can Uber Eats a little Wendy's if you want, but it's oh, it's going to be gumbo. It's going to be shrimp creole. It's going to oh. be crawfish etouffee. Po' boys. Oh, po' boy. Oh, you name God. it. You don't like a po'? Oh. Po' boy's just a sandwich. Oh, God. Yeah. Chicken parm po' boy? I might have some Maybe. chicken parm there. Hey. We got oh, we got your mac and cheese, and, I, and we got your mashed potatoes. I know, but is it mac and cheese with like fish in it and shit? Yeah, yeah sometimes might have some crawfish in <laughs> oh, there. Oh god. Oh yeah. Oh Everyone my else god. will love it. Well, I'll sneak you in a you know a, a McRib or whatever. What the hell. time's the wedding? Can I eat before? <laughs> eat before. Eat before you go. You just ate the, the double <laughs> double quarter pounder with cheese. Oh, that's the, the wedding's day. in yeah, fucking wait, yeah. two days. I you fuckhead. Like, sorry. What are you talking about? <laughs> like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what are you talking about? You're I, mean, fill I up on double quarter yeah. That's the thing about McDonald's. It doesn't keep. You it's, can't keep oh, a McDonald's. I've tried no, that. I was no. like, I'll eat this bur- half burger later. And boy, that uh, quarter pounder is a piece of garbage after that. Chuck's like, just eat every 54 hours. I You'll be good. Okay. <laughs> Jesus. I don't know why I get confused. So where have you been? Oh, well, we flew it on Sunday. I, I got this first class. I got us. By the way, 
Sunday, I'm flying in. I did Albany all weekend. Albany Oof. Funny Bone. Not bragging. Oof. And we drove the beauty of Albany. You should drive back Saturday night. Oh, yeah. And we had a great moment. We did the show, hot show, and I ran down the escalator in the mall, out to the car, started up. I was in New York, New York in two hours. That's a fun, I did the same thing from Hartford. We yeah. both were driving at the same time back from our gigs. Oh, that's right. How about that? How about that? Great moment, too. The the the, the lady at the Albany Funny Bone, the manager, is a hot, hot number. Oh, and yeah. she was chasing me out the mall with her my paycheck. I forgot to get paid. I go, whoop, thank you. Wow. And then I ran out the door, got in the car, and almost hit a deer. Oh. Driving on, left lane, highway, 85, drunk. Deer is in the right lane. Uh, and everywhere. I just, just, whoa, you know, if that deer would have take two steps, he'd be on the grill. Yeah, forget about it. Oh, yeah, big GMC logo right on his ass. <laughs> and uh, the DeLorean. My, the guy, Marcus Monroe, he was opening, and he was like, damn, great job with the deer. I was like, I just went straight. I didn't dodge it. I didn't swerve. I didn't juke. Just went straight. Luckily, he stayed in the right lane. But we got home, then went to bed. Daylight savings, uh, yes. gain an hour, and uh, we go, ah, the marathon. Oh, you got to watch out for that marathon. The marathon. And I go, well, luckily we're flying out of Newark. You know, that's the other side of town. The marathon's all uh, pipes. Brooklyn, Pipes, <laughs> Queens, Staten Island. <laughs> boop, 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 boop. Check the app. LaGuardia. Oh, come on. So I Google, how do you get to oh. LaGuardia from the West Village? That's the beauty of Google. I can Google a 28-mile sentence and somebody else has asked it. Yes. You know? And I go, how do I get to LaGuardia from the West Village during the marathon? And one guy goes, you're fucked. And then the other guy goes, it's fine. Uh, and it was completely fine. Okay. We got there in 22 minutes. No no if ands, or anal. And uh, we flew out first class, got picked up at the airport. Great time. And now you're here, and you've just been lounging. I've been lounging. I've been drinking too much just to get through it. Ah, I'm meeting boy. uncles here. <laughs> and aunts. Hey, an uncle. Hey, an uncle. Say uncle. That's what I say when I meet too many family members. I'm, uh, I give up. You know what's fun is Sarah's whole extended family lives in South Africa, Australia. I've never, oh. met, I've never met a single one of them. You're lucky. I met two parents and three siblings. Good. And that's it. Get rid of them. Even her friends, they're like they're cool and hot. It's like there's like five of them. Wow. Yeah. That's perfect. You don't have to. You don't have a huge, you know, group to meet. It's not a big family tree. No, I'm on the other end. It's funny. We're like we're we're switched. Yeah. Well, you. She's you, southern. I'm New England. So I'm like this is my uncle Sully. This is my uncle uh, Bubba. Yeah. This is Uncle Steve. This is, this is, this is Sully two. One. Sully three. It's just a lot of uncles and cousins. Yeah. And uh, and comedians. Yeah. Yeah. That's better. Yeah. We got a big group. We got a big web. Web of lies, but uh, so we're here. It's uh, it's weird because you're on the plane, and here's the only good thing about a wedding. All of it's a lot of work, whatever. The one thing, the one thing good about a wedding, aside from the love and the matrimony and the uh, till death. What the hell's a matrimony, anyways? Uh, I don't know, I think we're on one. It's a comfortable <laughs> matrimony, but. You go, hey, we got a wedding. People go, oh, geez, sorry, you need a free meal? We got right. champagne at the restaurant. They were like, you're getting married. They brought us champagne. I'm going to do this all the time. I, well, I, you also, yeah, it's hand and foot. Where do you get on that honeymoon? You tell oh. me you're on a honeymoon. It's free hot dogs, free McDonald's, free oh, Pepsi, free Starbucks. Mustard. And uh, I like the tilt. Yeah, this is nice. It's not bad. But, we can spoon, too, if you want. But it's your party. That's the nice thing. It's like when you shoot a special, but it's even bigger. You can get, if you need someone, you can go, hey, Chuck, go get me a pair of shoes. Right. Hey, you know, you know, uh, Ari, blow me right. or whatever. Although with that nose, it'd be hard to suck you up. Probably. Yeah, my dick's not long enough to get past <laughs> it. But also, the other good thing is you get out of stuff. You know, I got Sam going, hey, we got to have a meeting. I go, meeting? I'm in, I'm in wedding mode. He goes, oh, my God, I'm so sorry. Do what you got to do. Yeah, that's pretty good. So that's nice. Yeah. Hate a meeting, clan. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we're, uh, we're here. We're us. queer. I just want to get through it. Wow, the sun really went down. My I know. God. Ch Chuck is in deep shit. <laughs> that's the I'm chapel. sleeping here. I'm staying here. I'll Please, get the I'm bed. happy to have you sleep here. <laughs> sleep standing up. <laughs> like um, a horse. Did they sleep standing up? I don't know. Have you ever seen a horse? Nate has that bit about some, the dead horse. Does, some animal does, like a cow or something, sleep standing I've up. I've never seen a cow sitting. Right. Have you? I don't know. A I don't cow so. sits when it's going to rain. Is mm. that right? That's the old adage. Ah. If a cow's just sitting, you say it's going to rain. It's going to rain. Oh, interesting. Something like that. All right. I don't know. If a cow's sitting, that's bad milk. Can't trust it. 
Well, let me tell you about my travel down oh, here. Oh, please. So, well, by, by the way, Chuck, I feel like we've been going for six days. Nah. 35. Oh, no, no I went over halfway. Oh. It says uh, most four-legged uh, herbivores, cows, moose, rhinos, bison, and horses, can doze lightly on their feet, oh. but they have to lie down to sleep Oh, they do lie deeply. down. Yeah. They, they lie They can have a nap. Up. You can stand up with a nap. <laughs> I saw the donkey show, and the donkey was feet was right in the air, and they jerked it off, and the lady rode it. Wow. Yeah, it was it was pretty traumatizing. I, I thought it'd be fun. We were, you know, 18-year-old what? retards getting Where was excited. This? this is Mexico. Albany. I figured. <laughs> <laughs> it was in Denver. It stood up and she jacked it off? She jerked it off to get it hard, so now the legs are up, the dick is up, and she sat on it. Jackass. So she, like, sat on it like, like, like... Like, like they were having a dick. Wow, like missionary? Yeah, well, you know, like a reverse donkey girl. That's bizarre. Yes, <laughs> but it's an attraction. I mean, we were in a, in a barn with about 1,800 guys. We're all hard. They're all waving money. It was like out of a movie. Wow. Oh, you're doing the uh, pod in the bed is tough. I'm ready for a couple yeah, winks. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Dude, yeah. A couple I can, twinks. I can take a Z. I'll tell you that. <laughs> two, two twinks and a couple of winks. <laughs> Chuck's shit in his bed. Don't let him fool you. He keeps looking out there. He's terrified. I'm looking. I'm excited for the future. Walk it. I will. I, I'm telling you right now. I'm not setting foot out here. I'm walking all the way back home. It's a yeah, 20 minute walk. We're having fun. Maybe I'll walk with you, but I haven't showered yet. I get a shower. Could you guys help me bathe? And yeah. Then I'll walk back. We'll bathe you. <laughs> I mean, I could, if you wanted to, I could get an Uber at my place and come pick you up. That's not bad. A double lube. Mm. I don't care. Whatever you want. Double lube. Well, we'll figure it out. Mm. Not now up. on air. Hey, hey, folks, Tuesday with Stories brought to you by Manscaped. I love it. I actually trimmed up my stash today. If I if my stash grows out, too, I look like a fucking Cuban knife salesman. Um, the performance package has it all. The Lawnmower 4.0 body trimmer and weed whacker nose and ear hair trimmer feature proprietary advanced skin-safe technology to protect your delicate parts and holes. Both are waterproof, so you can shave in the shower. Classy. Don't get those fucking droppings all over the sink. Don't forget to apply the aluminum-free ultra-premium deodorant for that cologne-quality scent. Manscaped is even throwing in two free gifts, boxers, and a travel bag. Damn, that is nice. The Platinum Package 4.0 covers all your bases from head to balls. Get 20% off. And free shipping with the code TUESDAYS at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com and use promo code TUESDAYS. Be thankful this holiday season for the best gift of all from Manscaped. Your balls will thank ya. Hey there, folks. Blue Chew is an online service that delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis, but in a chewable tablet and at a fraction of the cost. Take them anytime and be ready whenever an opportunity arises. Sign up at BlueChew.com. Consult with one of our licensed medical providers. And once approved, you'll receive your prescription within days. No visits to the doctor's office. No awkward conversations. No waiting in line at the pharmacy. Blue Chew's tablets are made in the USA and shipped in a discreet package. I love Blue Chew. You know me, guys. I need Blue Chew. I'm eating oh, these yeah. things like, like Tic Tacs. Two, three, four times a day. Love it. I, I'm, I'm serious. I just love it. I think it's great, and uh, I just want you to buy it, for God's sakes. Here, here. It's great. <laughs> Women say there's nothing sexier than confidence. Blue Chew can give you confidence where it counts. If you could benefit from extra confidence when it's time to perform, Blue Chew can help. We have a special deal for our listeners. Try Blue Chew free when you use our promo code Tuesdays at checkout. Just pay 5 bucks for shipping. BlueChew.com, code Tuesdays to receive your first month free. Visit bluechew.com for more details and important safety information. Thank you, Blue Chew, for sponsoring the podcast. Yeehaw. All right. So, anyway, speaking of shit. Oh, it's, four, it's 5 38. It oh, is. Well, we better. Well, we'll, 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 the show's at 8. Yeah, we got plenty. I got a shower as well. We'll That's the thing. You wake up in this town and they go, and she's going, What are you doing? My mom's downstairs. We're getting breakfast. I go, ah, It's 8 30. What are we doing here? Yeah. It's tricky. Can't but, wait till it's over. Yeah. And then it really starts. Ah! Well, this is the thing about the ladies. Not pretty. The last thing I'll say about women is instead of getting, uh, instead of being different, they get angry. Let me, let me mm. explain. Please. Okay. 
you know, you go, uh, they go, you gonna go, uh, we're gonna go with my mom to dinner. And I go, ah, really? And she goes, you don't want to go with my mom? And I'm like, no. Why would I want to go hang out with your mom? Your mom's great, but I can't say queef and whatever. So I don't, I'd rather sit in my underwear and watch TV. And she goes, oh, you'd rather do that than hang out with my mom? I'm like, yeah. And she's upset. And I'm like, well, that's just how I am. It's, how about maybe, oh boy, I feel like I'm digging a hole. But do you see what I'm saying? Instead of being, I understand. like she's, 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 she should accept you for who you are. Yes, yes, accept. You can't just get mad about who I am and think I'll change because this is who I am. How about right. you? You you could go, okay, well, then you don't have to go. But she's actually more mad that I don't want to go than the fact, I'm still going to go, but she's like, I want you to want to go. I'm like, but that's just not me. I want you to want to fuck Chuck, but yeah. she doesn't want to fuck Chuck. That makes two of us. Yeah. <laughs> and that is literally it. Just the two of you. Yeah, that's about it. I hear you. I hear what you're saying, but uh, yeah, they want it to... They, they want you to want it. They want you to want to hang out with the mother, but the mother's maybe not as fun. Ideal, sure, sure. Because you can't jerk off in front of her mother unless you pay her. Yeah, she ain't cheap. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's tricky, but... Um, but that's... That's life. And marriage. That's my love and marriage. Goes together. Like a horse and carriage. Brother. That's what's still my As the local gentry. And they will say they it's elementary. elementary. Try, try, try. try. Maybe, uh, maybe we'll sing. Hey, we Can got we a sing little, with the band? We a little barbershop. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that was on uh, Married with Children. Married with Children. I never cared for that program. I but, liked uh, it. I liked uh, Belvedere Fountain. That was cool. Who? That's the fountain at the beginning in Chicago. Oh. Man, Christina Applegate has MS. No. Oh, my God. She, they just kind of Matt said it Salakis. recently. <laughs> oh, no. MS. Yes. It's what? like she put up a picture somewhere, and she's like, here's my cane. I have MS. What? Um, this is my new life. Like, she I'm was accepting fun. it. She's, oh, she's that's beautiful. That's the shaky with the cane, she's, right? She's a good actor. Anchorman. She's funny in Anchorman. Wait a minute. MS. That's the one with that prior had MS. Yeah. 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 It's rough. Whoa. You just get that, huh? <laughs> Bless you. What do you, what do you, do you, is that from smoking? Diet yeah. Coke, I heard. I think it's oh, one of those aspartame. things. Aspartame. Oh, that'll get you. That's what I heard. Asperger. It's one of those aging things. You just age and all of a sudden you have a thing. Well, it's genetic. You don't just pick up MS if you get older. I don't know. I don't they know. You can get it at the store now. Yeah. No, I think MS is uh, some kind of genetic, you know, dysfunction Ew. or something. But I heard, uh, you know. Multiple sclerosis. Yes. You got more too many sclerosis. Yeah, more than one. Yeah, a whole bunch of sclerosis. Yikes. Boy, poor Lily. Well, she had a good run. Poor Lily. <laughs> you look like a Lily. I mean, she had uh, Don't Tell Mom the Babysitter's Gay. She had Married with Children. She had Anchorman. Yeah. And then something else. Yeah. Yeah. Was she Buffy the Vampire Slayer? No, nah, that was Sarah Michelle Gill. Right. Er. <laughs> but that was a movie originally. Right? I don't know what's out there. Yeah, it was a di movie with a different actress. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Luke she, Perry was in it. She did a lot of stuff. Christina Applegate did a lot of stuff. She was never really a leading woman. Like she wasn't Julia Roberts level, but she had a she had a moment in the in the son in law. Well, she was sucking back equal packets and Diet Coke. <laughs> <laughs> Aspartame, baby. You don't eat Oreos. <laughs> the we haven't sex. <laughs> Oh, I'm getting married. What am I doing? That's a big mistake. I mean, the way th these stories you're telling with the mother, it just sounds horrendous. Well, the mother's very nice, yeah. but uh, then you start thinking, okay, if that's the mom, is she? Because she, I, I hang out with my dad, and I go, oh, this guy's a dweeb. And then I leave, and I start, I start talking like him. Right. Do you have that? Do you notice you're hanging, you're talking like your dad? I've heard my dad talk, but yeah, 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 maybe. Good point. I mean, I, I do get quieter, I guess, but. You must have picked up something from Steve. Yeah, I think so. Uh, yeah, love for baseball and okay. film. Like, we got that. Oh, he likes movies. Oh, he likes movies, oh, yeah. I never knew that. I think. I mean, he watches them. He doesn't say much after. Well, but whatever he can do to stop the talk. <laughs> but, um, yeah, those things. But, I, by the way, I'm going to go full Ben... Uh, Her? Not Braddock. Who's Benjamin Braddock? Buttons. Who's the guy from Washington Post? Ben Bradley. Ben I'm gonna Bradley. I'm gonna go full journalist on your family because I gotta get the scoops. <laughs> well tell me. I when don't you know. Get it. I don't know what's going on with this family. I heard your mom has big cans, your dad's yep. weird, your brother lives in Africa. Yep. 
I don't know who you're, where you're from, or what's going on. I half expect him to be like, we're from Mississippi. I don't even know what you're talking about with this stuff. That's what's. It's gonna be a little lackluster. They're not exciting. They're nice people. They're good people. They're well read. But uh, there's a tough nut to crack. A lot of walls up. I'm going straight in there. I'm going straight up to that family table and sticking my hand out and oh. saying, all right, who's in charge here? Well, if you get any info, give it to me because I'm clueless as well. What are the parents' names again? I think it's Shlomo and Rita. <laughs> no, it's uh, ba- It's Rick and Liz. Rick and Liz. Wow. Yeah. I'm That's going good. in. Yeah. I'm going to go right in there. I'm going to call her Betty and Rich. Because if you give them a nickname, that's how you get in. They like that. Hey, Richie, Betty. You, you can well, make it based on their real names, though. You got to make like a, a nickname based on their names. So come Rick up with yeah. well, Betty. Where do you get Betty? Where do you get Betty, Betty. from? Oh, Elizabeth. Liz, Elizabeth. Oh. Liz, Betty. Is that where Betty comes from? Of course. Ah, Betty White. I never thought about uh, that. Out of your minds? I thought it was Beth. It's like I'm talking to my brother's kids over here. <laughs> <laughs> How about the lizard? That's cool. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> then you Lizzie. Like you call her the lizard if you survive <laughs> yeah, the streets. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> this guy this guy thinks he's got better nicknames than me. Uh, I got a plan. Uh, lizard brain. I'm going to say, hey, big cans... Betty. Big there Can Betty. B- BCB. <laughs> that, that's good. My favorite <laughs> network. <laughs> yeah. I like the BBC. <laughs> Tom. Big black cock. But yeah. Uh, all right. You let me know if you get any dirt on them because they're, uh, woo, baby. They got some guard up. I, I can't wait to figure it out and uh, I can't wait to see who shows up at this thing. I'm very excited and uh, I'll, I'll just eat on Friday. But yeah. Yeah. You're going to have to eat before. But let me tell you about the travel down because I had Please. quite an episode on the way here. You just, just, if you guys could sit up a little bit more for the camera, oh, you really sorry. lounged. I got, comfortable. I got a heart on too. <laughs> no. Whoops. Oh. Oh, there you go. <laughs> oh, no. Slippery sheets. It fell in. Yeah, we're what out of the ice. Hell? Wow. Don't break that phone. This place is not cheap. Sorry, it's plastic. Throw, throw me those nuts over there. No, you got the nuts? nuts are like eight bucks a piece. Oh, are you yeah. crazy? No yeah, more right, nuts. Right. 50 cents a nut. They got a book. In the book, it says, don't be in this neighborhood. <laughs> I literally, I'm not joking. The lady at the front desk was like, don't walk east. You can walk about two blocks. Wow. That's it. But which I always want. I'm like, is there somebody two blocks away telling the people over there, don't you can't walk west two blocks. We got right. hotels over there. Yeah, how do they know? Is it weird? There's a cutoff. I know cutoff shorts, but uh, cutoff Louisiana. Where? Yeah, that's I, a, a city. Anytime you get to a place and they say don't go a direction, bad news. Bad news bears. But anyway, so I yeah, get the flight. I get up this morning. I go to the uh, LaGuardia, and uh, you know Sarah's under the weather, so I go whatever. If I'll I'll just go. Mm. Get to the airport. And uh, I bump into Annie Haynes. Hey, the Lovely airport Annie bump Haynes. in. At the... Uh, Security. Sh- terminal. No, lounge. No, lounge. The He's lounge. He's in the lounge? He's in the lounge. Wow, that Rosebud's doing pretty well. It's Rosebud money, I got a feeling. Uh-huh. And uh, so we go there. Love the Haynes. I see him. But then what happens is... I'm a particular traveler. When you, tr- The more you travel, the more particular you are. Well, you're particular in general. Exactly. But now I'm traveling every week. So you get your routine. When you do something every oh, week, yeah. you bring in another guy, and it's hard because you're like, all right, well, I'm heading to Starbucks, and it's the, well, they got free coffee right over here. And I'm like, well, I like tea. And he's like, they got tea over there. And I'm yeah. like, I like a specific tea. Sure. And he's like, well, they got all kinds of tea. And I'm like. I'll see you at the terminal. That's particular Pete. <laughs> and I got to go get, uh, you know, my bike. So anyways, I go down to the bus. So I barely get to see him. But I'm, I'm excited that he's on the flight. We're all going to hang. Then I get on. I get the upgrade. First Ooh-wee. class. First class aisle. First seat. One seat. Oh, I love the one seat. Although that wall is a little quick on you. The wall's tough, and you got to put all your shit in the overhead, but whatever. Sure. But I'm the first one seen. So I'm sitting there. I'm reading my book. It's all pipes. And then who gets on? Liz, Liz Furiati. Love the Liz. She's got matching, but you, well, you know me. I got, I got, I, I love Liz. Yeah, she's a sex, sexy wop. Uh, yeah, she's really got, got something going. Yeah. And uh, so she gets on, and I go, hey, and then she makes a big scene. What do you think? You're a celebrity? She takes of my course. book and shows of everyone and, and, and smacks my nuts, and yep. uh, I'm into it. And I go, sure. oh, I'll keep you posted. Have fun in the back. Yeah, but enjoy the, the show, Harry. We're doing threesomes now. We're swinging if you if you want. I'd try. I'd love to. Okay. But uh, so she's on the flight. Then Haynes gets on. He's directly uh, diagonally from me. Uh, like a bishop. Directly diagonally. I don't know if that makes sense, but you get it. Yeah. And I love a flight where everyone's on the flight. You yeah, that's the people. best. Comedy flight. It's exciting. You get that with a comedy festival. 
Which there's one going on in New Orleans, by the way. I know, that's crazy. Isn't it weird? No one's heard a peep about it. Ruby's in it. Wow. <laughs> yeah. So he's like, I'll see you at the show, but I got to do a 7 o'clock downtown. I was like, all right. Boy, this is going to be a hang over there. Oh, it's going to be a scene. I can't wait. Um, one scene. So I'm in the seat. I'm excited. I got my tea, and then I went to the lounge, and I just wolfed back a bunch oh, of potatoes. Yeah. I got the boiled potatoes and some eggs and some oatmeal. Yes, yes, oatmeal. Drink my Buck's tea, have a croissant. I'm sitting there. I like to get a nice full belly. They got cookies in there, too. Where? In the lounge. Oh, I know what the cookies. Okay. And then they got cookies on Delta today, too. Oh. So I'm sitting there. I feel like a million bucks, but all of a sudden, I start to feel the... Ah, the gurgle. The rumble. The rumble in the jungle. New app. And I don't know what it is, but I'm like, well, whatever. I had a tough night's sleep because I wasn't sure if Sarah was going to cut. The speech has got me up at night. I appreciate Um, you doing it. Really? It's a lot of work because I'm like, is it funny? Is it not funny? The poem... Speech impediment. Not going to be easy. So mm-hmm. all of a sudden, I'm getting the wackies. And then you go into like the, well, what did I eat? Because I feel a little, I start feeling it in the throat. Uh, you're like, am I going to barf? The, the re? The, the burn? No, no burn. Just that like, ooh. Like, uh, like, and in, in stand by me, you know? Yes, yes. The, the, the castor oil. Yes, exactly. And then you hear this, which you never want to hear. We're number 14 for takeoff. Ah. And so now it goes directly into my brain cells. Sure. That 14, usually it's like 90 seconds per takeoff. So we're looking at almost 30 minutes here. Oh, and they don't let you get up. No. And then if they do, they shame you. Well, we can't go because some dipshit that has diarrhea is standing yeah, up. He's going to change his tampon again. So, and I've never, I don't know about you, I have never once ever shit on a plane. Same here. There you go. Yes, I I've, have an anal uh, hymen on a plane. Same here. I, I have masturbated on a plane. Wow. Multiple times. Jerked off on a plane. Jesus. Snakes on a plane. How, how'd you do it? <laughs> I just go in the bathroom and I use my hands. I just, uh, really? you know, one thumb in the ass and, and four fingers on the throttle. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You got, you got a hand on the yoke. So, never shit and, uh, but I have to. So then I'm starting to have this thing where I'm like, I think I might be sick. So then oh, you start yeah. having all the images stick. Like, of, do, I, do they have the bag still? Oh, yeah, the puke bag. The puke bag. But then I'm like, I'm in first class. This, that's, that's not very first class. No, they'll shame you. And it's really like percolating. And then I'm like, I think I'm going to barf. Mm. And then you know, also, this is where ego comes in. You don't want people being like this. Do you not fly very often? You uh, have a weak stomach? Because you know geez. me. I'm a boater. I'm a flyer. I'm sure. a I'm a driver. I like to keep it moving. I can't sit still. Oh, yeah. You're a trans activist. So that, that's the worst thing. You never want someone to be like this. Oh, what are you? You got a little, little tense about yeah, the flight? I'm yeah. like, I fly. I don't know what I'm doing. Sure. You got wings. So then it starts to go north, and I'm like, I think I'm going to throw up. Whoa. So you got to get mad at it. Yes. You got to go you got to push back down, but then right. I push too far down. All of a sudden, my asshole goes, Whoop, Yeah, and I can but feel it. Better, better out the back door than the top. It is because it's a little easier to hide, and it doesn't burn as much. But now, you know that thing where like it feels like when you're sitting, the shit is resting on your pants. Yes. The seat is keeping the shit in. Been there. You need a cork. So then I'm like, okay, i got to keep it calm. I go into my meditation, my Le Mans classes. Uh-huh. Pontiac Le Mans. <laughs> uh, I'm just trying to do that kind of shit. Uh, Le Mans is the race. So I'm trying to keep it in. What's the what's that car? Pontiac that? Le Baron. No, isn't there a Le Mans? I think there is. Le Mans is a race in Germany, I think. I think it's a car, too, isn't it? There's Le Baron. There's Le... I thought that was a car also. There's Lavelle Crawford. What's the uh, one with the stacked headlights? Isn't that a uh, Le Mans? Monte Carlo. Uh, I think that's a car. Look that up. It might be a car. It's Named after race. the race, probably. Oh, okay. Well, I'm a racist. Hmm. I think so. Race baiting. Yeah, there's a movie and a race. Uh, it's definitely it's a Steve McQueen movie. And it's movie. a place in France. Oh, it's France. What's the car I'm thinking of? I don't know. It says most wins is Porsche. Off? That's just a short, short. Oh, okay. Pants um, are on. Don't worry. Can you type in Pontiac? Pontiac. Mans? Isn't there a car? Lay something? Yeah, there is a Lay, I think. Lay yeah. Miserable. What's the big muscle car that Pontiac made? GTO. In the 60s? Yes. Is that a kind of GTO? No. They wouldn't go French in my the s- 60s. My service is slow. 
Yeah, uh, so is your fucking tits. So get back. Anyways, where was I? Oh, so my asshole is percolating. Yes. So perk. then we're just waiting and waiting and waiting to go. And I'm like, fuck. And your, your brain is just throwing out all these images. I want to shit my pants. I'm going to uh, barf the whole thing. Yeah. Finally, we start to take off, and you feel that immediate relief because you're like, "Okay, now I'm just minutes away. Whatever happens, I'm minutes away from using the bathroom." And it's uh, it's four inches away from you. Exactly, I'm in the front seat, but I feel sick. But I'm starting to like it's it's up and down. I'm texting my Whoa. wife and the whole thing. So as soon as we get up there, somebody like they don't wait for the seatbelt. Somebody gets up and goes to the bathroom, and then Haynes gets up because we uh -huh. had been waiting so long. So now I'm third in line, right? And Haynes is like, "Hey, how's it going?" I'm like, "I gotta tell you, I'm pretty sick. I think I might shit on the plane." And then I had this. I was like, "I've never shit on a plane before," and he's like, "I shit on every flight." Yeah, I've heard Some that. Some people are like that, huh? Yeah. Some people like shitting on a plane. They, it's almost like a Pavlovian. Right. Shitlovian, where they're like, "All right, I got a Puvlovian." I'm like that with naps on the plane. Yes, yeah, same. Right when it takes off, I'm out. Pontiac Le Mans. Whoa! I've got, never heard of it. It's got the stacked headlights, right? Yeah, it big. does. It is a is a big grill. 1961 to 1981. What yes, a pull. Yes. Yes. Wow, those didn't last. That huh? was my that was my favorite car back in the day. How does it look? It's like a big uh, it's a boat. fucking It looks like an old school Cadillac. It's like a GTO, yeah. No. <laughs> Oh, Look it does have a GTO, yeah. 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 That's yeah. some American musk. Great car. I had about uh, you know a year and a half that I was really into muscle cars. But All right. It passes. Yeah. Eddie Mus Jizz. Muscular dystrophy. Must have got lost. Um, <laughs> I get up. <laughs> uh, Haynes, Haynes goes on. And now it becomes the thing of like, now my brain is synced up. I'm shitting. Oh, it's coming out. So then the food starts to come out. Mm. And uh, No, wait. Sorry. Not yet. So then I get up. And now I'm like, I got to shit. It's coming. So I shit, and there's no water in the airplane ah, toilet. That's how they get you. It's just a dry, it's a dry bowl. It's just a dry bowl. With a hole. And so a dry bowl hole, so manute bowl. So <laughs> right away, I, cut. I, I showed out a manute bowl action figure. Uh, I mean, this thing is seven fast, foot huh? six inches, and it's got a, a Bullets <laughs> jersey on. This is the biggest shit. Oh, man. I guess better than a uh, Makembe Makumbo. <laughs> It's just it's hitting the the bowl dry. Oh, I mean, so it's just like a thud. Oh, the thud. It's you want to draw? You want to bloop? Uh, yeah, you exactly. want a plunk? A swoosh? Yes, Nike. No, no swoosh. No yeah, plunk. Oh, yeah. This is a Reebok. I mean, this just oh, went. Yeah, that's <laughs> no good. That's a kid. It really just sounded. You ain't kidding. It really was just <laughs> like <laughs> slow kettering. Oh, I kid. I kid. <laughs> it just goes. Oh and God! You want kids in your? Uh, huh? Do you want? Oh, one day I'll have kids of my own. Oh, kids! Yeah, all right. Yeah, just the uh, kids. I don't know. All right, kids. Kids meal. I'm wearing kid gloves. So I, I just shit a globby black, green, just a mush of shit, and it's like three shits. Wow! You know when you're like, yeah, you're like okay, and you feel instantly better. Your body is is done with the waste. Exactly. So I get it all down, and I'm flushing each time. Oh, so yeah. So the guy who I think might have been like recognized me. Ah, I can tell you, had yeah, you know, we have a different feel. Sure. And I kept doing the. And it's that super loaded. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, it goes right on to Flip, Michigan, or wherever it goes. Exactly. It goes. There's three in a row. Ba boom. Ba boom. Oh, Nagasaki, ba -boom. Hiroshima, and the uh, the. I think that's been it so far, luckily. But we'll see. Anal bomb. So then I get back to my seat and I'm like, okay, I think that did it. Yeah. I'm done. I think that should be five minutes pass. Uh, it's back. And this is when the food comes out. Oh, no. You're like Jeff Daniels over here. Exactly. I'm and cleaning a, my teeth. It's a big tray of food. So you got to put the tray down. Then they put the napkin down. Then they put the tray oh, of food down. Oh, you're locked in. And the food, it's like it's carrots and mushrooms and my sister's ass, the whole thing. Why do they do that with the veggies and the high fructose bullshit? It's all protein or what do you call it? Uh, starch. All starch. Uh, starch madness. <laughs> yeah. It's Dark raving bed. Starch getting us. So <laughs> whatever the fuck it is. So I, I have to lift up the tray. I'm holding the tray with one hand. I move the, the flappy the, the flap. Yeah, thing. I know it. And then I go in. Right when he served the food, I do like another double shit. Uh, this is just a pile of green. Damn, double stuff. It just everywhere. More flushes. What would you oh it was all the lounge food. No, the day before yesterday. 
as we're recording. Mm -hmm. I had a full box of Kraft macaroni and cheese, which I, I, I stopped doing for years. But yeah. it's like an addiction. It comes back. You want to feel like when you're a boy. Yeah. I love making that thing and putting the fake processed cheese oh, that in was, there. It's bright orange. That sand is bright <laughs> orange. It looks like something from a glitter project. It is. And then... Arts and crafts. I feel macaroni like I, and cheese. I feel like it, I can I can balance by having a big spinach smoothie. Ah, so I think the combination of the spinach, the mac and cheese, the nerves... Jew the, and Palestine Exactly. There. The not getting you a gift for your wedding. The, uh, all that stuff a year. combined. One year. Uh, come back one year. All that stuff combined, I just blasted it out. But finally, after that one, and I had to walk up to the flight attendant guy and be like, hey, I I'm embarrassed, but I don't think I can eat this food. And then he kind of snickered. He was like, but he gave away. Uh, he could hear me shitting in there. He knew it was going down. And he's like, I'll save it for later. And I was like, great. And then I just laid there like I just got fucked by my dad again. Yeah, Andy Haynes probably like, this guy's an amateur. I know, and, and he, I got off the plane, and I had to wait for the... But then I felt like a, a, a new buck, or what, a new man. New man. hundred bucks. Hello, new man. Oh, sorry. Jesus. But uh, here's the clinker, is the fact that... Isn't it weird that the body is so sophisticated that it was going to puke out, but it said, oh, I guess that, that latch is closed. We'll figure it out downtown. Exactly. But you were going to yak brown who knows what. Like, how does that come out? Because it doesn't come out in shit form, but when it comes out of your ass, it's shit form. That's a great point. I think because it goes through the stomach, because puke comes from the stomach. But does yeah, uh, the ass is what? The anal cavity or the... That's the colon. Colon, Powell. And then the stomach is different. Yeah. You, the stomach has acid and... Uh, Enzyme? I don't know. The ass is just... I think the shit... If the shit moves from the colon into the stomach, the stomach acidifies it and yes. turns it into vomit. Aha! Uh -huh. I think you're right. That's... I assume. I think I remember that the little school bus. They have Miss Fritz. Yes! Oh, I love that shit. How about that? I'd love to fuck that Fritz. All right. Well, Chuck is giving us oh, skank well, hands. Skank so. <laughs> All right. Uh, is that mean we're done? All right. Well, we gotta. I gotta be at the show in an hour. I'm supposed to get there early. This is a horror. We all have movie. to take showers, and I gotta walk home, which uh, yeah. I'll be, you know, shucking and jiving on that walk. I'll be shaking bacon. The walk you're about to do, I'm not even joking. Is like uh, that. That would be like a list of hell or whatever to me. Oh yeah, it's tough. The seventh circle of hell. But I don't know. I, I grew up around here. I'll be fine. I well think it's this main. What's that main? This, road, this, this two. The big one is Elysian Fields. Right when you pass that, you're in another stratosphere. But right when you get across it, you're safe. That's exactly what I feel. Because Frenchman, that's what I've come to New Orleans three times. I always go to Frenchman. I go see some music. Walk sure. There's that record store that I love there. And then Cafe Du Monde is over there. So oh, it's yeah. like you're kind of... That's where I know where I am, and there's just people everywhere. Mm -hmm. It's this big two-lane road. Two-lane. Yeah. Uh-huh. That you come over, it it really feels like oh hey you're in a different place and it, it there's no places of business around here no so it's just you and the kooks yeah yeah kook central this is all family which is weird because I know people who live in this area and they're like oh we get robbed constantly so you're like it's weird this is how you just you just live here that's just a part of it here sorry Ugh. so buckle up and, and maybe don't wear an Iowa shirt and a Boston hat and a red. Sh Ruby slipper. Chuckle up. Well, I, I'm gonna wear a suit. All I want is nice. What are you pointing at? There's something outside. Who's I just didn't. There? I didn't realize. I know you have this glass door here. I didn't realize it goes right to the street. That's what we've been yes, joking about. That's what I know. Talking. I know, but I didn't Look think it was that close to the street. I thought it was like a little bit further away. Well, but... this is this is a driveway. It's not really the okay. Street. It's right, a right. driveway, but like the street is there. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you can turn and yeah. clearly. Yeah. There's tourists in here and glass doors. If like, I was a hope, I would look in just for fun. Yeah, just to see right. who was in there. You sure. could watch a guy jerk it or a plow wife situation. As a non hobo, I would do that. And then the door, it's just, I mean, it, I, I can't even describe We've already described it. You could just. Yeah, it's pretty simple. So, you know, I'll sleep when I get home. Yeah, yeah. If you got to change hotel rooms, I understand. Some people got an Airbnb. I think Ian uh, Finance and uh, a couple other people really went all in. Yeah. Well, we'll see. Uh, all right. Well, we got to uh, wrap it up. You're, next time we record, you'll be married. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Well, we're getting old. Life is uh, meaningless. Ticking by. Uh, I'll be at uh, Comedy on State, December 8th through the 10th. Make sure you come out to that. That's Madison, Wisconsin. Please come. Buy the tickets. Fill it up. 
The weekend after that, Omaha Funny Bone. I think that's 16 through the 9th, 15 through the 17th. I'm trying to do the math in my head. Yeah, it must be 15 through 17. And then a uh, bunch of crazy shit coming up next year. My dates are over there. I can't find them. Oh, the hell with it. I can't find it. But a bunch of stuff coming up. Christ, where am I? I, I can't even remember. Fuck. Mm. I got a big Chicago date coming oh, up. There you I'm go. Gonna announce that. And, and Boston date coming up. I'll announce that later. Salt Lake City. That's a big one. They're paying me a bunch of money. So please buy your tickets. Salt Lake City. Great club. Wise guys. You're going to want to come to that. Yes. And you got. Oh, wait. Is that. That's private? not announced yet. Uh, but, uh, bleep it. Yeah. Bleep I'll that. I'll bleep. I'll bleep. Uh, Bleep that too. Oh, now you gotta bleep that. <laughs> oh, it's all bleeps. Sorry, it's all pipes. Fuck, uh, I got a bunch of dates coming up. Check out comedianjoelist.com, but uh, I'll keep you updated and go watch the special on YouTube. This year's material. Here, here. Watch them all, folks. Uh, I'm in San Francisco, Boston, Philly, New Haven. Shout out to Connecticut, the most American state. And then uh, Honolulu, Nashville, Buffalo. All kinds of fun dates. MarkNormanComedy.com. Give it a whirl. Give it a goog. Check it out and praise Allah. And thanks for all the nice wedding messages. Patreon. You got to get on it. Best Patreon in America. It's insane. It's skyrocketing. And it's going up. Thank you. Appreciate it.